When you change column width or delete a column, Writer keeps the same left margin. This means that the table no longer fills the space between the left and right margins. In this case, you may, to, may want to adjust the position of the table between the margins. To do this, click anywhere in the table and click the Table Properties button on the Table Toolbar. Click the Table tab and select the radio button for the alignment that you need. The options are Automatic, which extends the table horizontally to the left and to the right page margins. This, by the way, is the recommended setting for tables in HTML documents. Left alignment aligns the left edge of the table to the left page margin. Right aligns the right edge of the table to the right page margin. Center centers the table horizontally on the page and manual horizontally aligns the table based on the values that you enter in the left and right spacing boxes. OpenOffice.org will then automatically calculate the table width. For now, we'll click Center and click OK, and the table is horizontally centered on the page. If you need to move the table to another part of the document, you can use drag and drop. However, I've been experimenting with this and it doesn't seem to work quite as expected. When you select the table and remember to select the table, you can either point to the top corner here and choose select whole table or you can go to the table menu and choose select table. Either one works fine. So when you select the table and drag it to a new location by just pointing to it, holding the mouse button down, and dropping it where it goes. You'll notice that the table is placed in the new location. Let me just move this out of the way. But that the empty table shell remains in the original location. That doesn't matter terribly much, but I just press Control Z to undo the drag and drop. If you select a blank line at each side of the table, like this, and drag and drop, that doesn't happen. Of course, then you have to get rid of the uh, blank lines if they're spare, but I guess it's kind of six and one and a half a dozen of the other, but it's just worth, worth, worth noting that that's the way it works. Also, if you hold down control, then the table is supposed to be copied instead of moved. Another thing we can do with a table in Writer is merge and split table cells. Multiple cells within a table can be merged to create a single larger cell. Merged cells are useful when you want to enter text that spans more than one column or more than one row. So for example, let's select those and we'll choose Merge Cells from the Table Properties toolbar. And now we have one title cell. Now if I click in this cell and choose Split Cells, I can choose to divide the cell horizontally or vertically. I'll choose to divide this into three equal horizontal cells. And you'll see we now have three rows. Now I'll click here and I'll split again into three. Now this time I'll choose four and I'll choose vertically. And click OK. And now I have four columns. So you see you have quite a complicated table layout achievable with simply splitting and merging tables.